neighbor borrowed the staple gun the other day, and I noticed a small modification to it when I got it back. Pretty good penetration. I guess that's enough messing around. We can get back to the project. In my last video, I spent a good amount of time fabricating the undercarriage and steering mechanism for a homemade radio flyer wagon that I'm working on. If you're interested in seeing more about that, you can just watch the part one video to this series. In this video, I'm going to align everything and then I'm going to finalize the fit and finish of the actual final product. Off camera, I disassembled everything and I applied a coat of black spray paint and then I reassembled everything. For the top deck, I started with two pieces of one by, I think this is pine, and I ran them from front to back and then I screwed down tongue and groove on top of that to finish out the deck. I had a lot of extra tongue and groove lying around so I decided to rip everything down to two and a half inches and that was going to be the dimension that I made the rest of the top out of. When attaching the uprights to the top deck, I used a framer square to ensure that I was attaching them perfectly perpendicular to the deck. Since the wood was fairly dry, I went ahead and pre-drilled everything before I put any screws in to prevent everything from cracking. To achieve the angles and the look that I was going for, I took each individual piece and I scribed it up against the reference structure. That way I didn't have to make any measurements and then when I went to cut everything, all I did was remove just the line with the miter saw and not remove any additional material than that. And then when I put everything together, everything fit nicely. And again, I didn't have to do any measurements to do that. It made everything a lot easier. The staples were really just to hold everything together while I got the layout done. Once everything was done the way I wanted it to, I pre-drilled and put three inch wood screws in so everything would hold together really nicely. Well, when it's all said and done, it doesn't really look anything like a radio flyer wagon, but the cool thing is, is it's completely homemade, it's exactly what I felt like making today, and it turned out pretty good. Uh, honestly, the capacity's not bad, it moves around really nice, and my wife said even with me in it, she's able to move it around with pretty good ease. And that's really just because I decided to put halfway decent wheels on there with decent bearings. It's all working out pretty good, and I hope that this inspires you to, you know, step into a project that maybe you're not completely comfortable with and seeing what you can end up with. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Today, I'm hoping to start a pretty healthy sized project, which you might be able to tell by the sheet of steel. Just comparing it to the size of the wagon, which isn't really all that small, you can tell it's going to be a pretty big deal. Should be awesome.